Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, July 11, 2013. Well, this could be the uh, pot calling the kettle black, or it could be a signal of a new way of doing business by the newly elected Chinese government. I should say newly appointed Chinese government. Some senior executives of the Chinese division of the drug giant GlaxoSmithKline are facing a criminal investigation for bribery and tax evasion violations. Uh, they are suspected of offering bribes to Chinese officials and doctors in an attempt to boost sales in China. The Chinese Ministry of Public Security has uh, accused GlaxoSmithKline of bribing government officials, overstating tax receipts, and bribing doctors. According to the ministry, the case involves many people, the duration of time is long, the amount of money involved is huge, and the criminal activities are malicious. It will be interesting to see what happens. The XL Group is apparently on the ground in Quebec, Canada right now at that train crash. They apparently are the lead insurer on the liability program for the Montreal, Maine and Atlantic Railway, that rail disaster that involved the uh, derailment of the fuel train in the small Canadian town of Lac Megantic has now officially uh, killed 50 people. Uh, Excel also announced last evening a preliminary loss estimate of about $135 million unrelated to the train crash. Uh, this was coming from uh, second quarter 2013 natural events including the flooding in Europe, Argentina and Canada as well as tornadoes and hailstorms in the United States. The cargo ship uh, MOL Comfort, a container ship, finally sank. The remaining four section of the stricken container ship sank in the Arabian Sea at about 11 p.m. last night. Uh, the ship operator Mitsui OSK Lines has confirmed this. A report yesterday indicated that the uh, cargo was already thought to be totally lost. The fire broke out on the ship on July 6th. Jubilee Group in London is partying company with its CEO Johnny Rowell. Uh, Roll had been in the position less than two years. Of course, uh, Ryan Specialty Group now owns Jubilee Group. Frank Phillips, a longtime Ryan Hand, who's currently the chief operating officer, has been named the CEO on an interim basis. Meanwhile, Nigel Fitzgerald has taken over at the Fairfax Financial Owned Lloyd's Managing Agency Advent as CEO. Uh, Fitzgerald joined Advent as chief operating officer in November. He had come from Crum and Foster. Meanwhile, uh, Japan's nuclear regulator says that it believes radioactive water from the crippled TEPCO Fukushima power plant is leaking into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the head of the Nuclear Regulation Authority said he believed contamination of the sea has been ongoing since March 11th when the earthquake occurred. Um, according to uh, TEPCO, radiation levels in groundwater at the plant have soared suggesting highly toxic materials from the power station are getting closer to the Pacific. This more than two years after the meltdown triggered by the earthquake and ensuing tsunami. The Japanese government has confirmed it, so it is in fact leaking into the Pacific Ocean. The tragic fire in Bangladesh uh, that killed over 1,100 workers at that garment plant apparently is finally having some real results. North American retailers have unveiled a five-year safety plan for Bangladeshi garment factories. The North American plan was immediately criticized by groups that think a European-led plan is stronger. Um, European unions involved in their accord called the North American Alliance, quote, another toothless auditing program. Both plans include factory inspections, worker training, and ways for workers to report safety concerns, and both groups also say that they will not use factories considered to be unsafe. A spokesman for Walmart back in the American plan said, I think both plans are very strong and we should work together going forward. The European plan does not recognize the way the American legal system works, which is why the vast majority here in the United States did not join their plan. Well, here's some good news in connection with the Asiana Flight 214. Your chance of surviving a plane crash are actually pretty good. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, more than 95% of the plane passengers involved in any crash actually survive. However, they do note that taking time to take your luggage is pretty stupid and will reduce your odds of surviving. This whole thing comes up because of images from the crash at the San Francisco airport show some Asiana Flight 214 passengers leaving the wreckage of the burning plane, toting their luggage, iPads, and even duty-free alcohol. 
according to an air safety expert, John Goglia, he said he was shocked to see that number of passengers with suitcases. He said, quote, of all the aircraft accidents I have investigated or I'm familiar with, this is the first where it appears that a significant number of people took their belongings with them in escaping. The, uh, uh, <laughs> the Association of Professional Flight Attendants said, we are trained to evacuate the plane in 90 seconds or less. If you take time getting your suitcases, you may not make it. Translation, leave your duty-free alcohol in the plane. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.